G'day, it's Glenn VK for NGA. If you're new to hotspots or if you've been playing with hotspots for a while, you've probably heard the term duplex hotspot. Now I know when I first got into um, to hotspots, uh, the first hotspot I bought was an open spot, the original open spot one, or just the open spot. And it's a, there it is up there, working away up there, I can see it. Now, it's a simplex hotspot. So all the open spots are simplex. That means they transmit and receive on the same frequency. So there's no split. Oops. So whereas a duplex hotspot, that's different. It really shouldn't be called a duplex in my view. It should be called a repeater hotspot because pretty much that's what it is. So what you're looking at here is the little jumbo spot. They're tiny. There's a RT3S beside it. So they yeah, got a very small form factor. So these are a simplex hotspot. One antenna, one radio. So let's put that aside for a sec and look at what's inside them. So this is a board without a screen so I can show you around the board. So straight away one antenna. Now this is a single radio board so this chip here is the STM32 chip so that's the uh, processor type chip for the MMDVM for the multi-mode digital voice modem which is what we're looking at here and that's the radio chip there. So one radio chip means one antenna and that's simplex. So I'll talk about what they do soon. Let's look at a duplex. So this is a full size duplex board. As you can see it's twice the size. Whereas this one here fits on either a Pi or any of the Raspberry Pis, but it's the same size as a Raspberry Pi Zero. Whereas this one is the full size. So I've just soldered on the next gen screen cable to it, but they don't come with that cable. So this one has the STM32 chip, so the main processor chip, one radio chip for transmit, one for receive, and two antennas, one for transmit and one receive. So <clears throat> this board, the simplex board, can either receive or transmit, it can't do both at the same time because it's not a repeater. But if you think of the duplex board as a repeater it makes more sense because we all know what repeaters do they transmit and receive at the same time and that's what this does the processor allows both radio chips receive and transmit at the same time so that's why there's two antennas and this one runs a split an offset now not like uh, because they're UHF um, they run uh, usually about a five run them on five megahertz split which is consistent with um, with 70 centimeter band and they work great but there's a difference in the way they operate so let's have a look at well first of all let's talk about what mode you want to run if you want to run D star I believe simplex is the way to go simplex works great on uh, on D star some people say that they have trouble disconnecting and reconnecting to reflectors because if there's not enough break in the transmission in between stations you can't disconnect or reconnect yeah that's probably the case but generally I don't have a problem and you can drop the call um, in the Pi Star dashboard as well so for D Star you don't really need a duplex for um, for system fusion you don't really need a duplex either simplex works fine for system fusion for P25 you don't need a duplex you can just use a simplex for DMR if you're on Brandmeister everything's on time slot 2 so again you don't need a duplex but if you run DMR plus or a lot of people call it DMR Mark, which is MARC, Motorola Amateur Radio Club. Then 
these things work fantastic because they will listen and transmit at the same time so you can be listening to time slot 1 and time slot 2 at the same time and also you can transmit on time slot 2 say while this thing's listening to time slot 1 and receiving a station on time slot 1 same goes with if it's listening to and receiving a station on time slot 2 and you want to go to time slot 1 in, uh, in DMR Plus then it'll do it so that's where these come into their own in DMR they are a true uh, repeater in the every sense of the word but it's just 10 milliwatts but I crank them down I run these at 1 milliwatt when, uh, when I'm using them because I find that um, they run a little nicer on 1 milliwatt is because the antennas are so close together you need a little bit of low power super low power in my view anyway it's just a just my own opinion based on my own experience <clears throat> so if we look at um, how DMR works the architecture of DMR T2 um, time slot 1 and time slot 2 means that um, the radio the the um, the radio and the uh, the radio and the um, let's zoom this out. Can we see that. So yeah, the the radio and the um, and the hotspot are working together very nicely. So we'll just uh, have a look at this. So you can see here, I've got. Um, I've just got DUP there, duplex, so I know which zone I'm in. So we've got, um, this is on the VKDMR network, we've got talk group 505, talk group 5, so we're listening to both at the same time. And I can transmit on talk group 505 or switch to 5, uh, and if there was a station, say, coming in on talk group 505 and I wanted to talk to a buddy on talk group 5 or one of the time slot 1 talk groups, such as uh, 3809, then I'd be able to do that while this uh, this other conversation is going on on the other time slot. So that's where these um, these gadgets come into their own. So let's have a look at the dashboard. Let's have a look at a couple of them. Just give me a sec to adjust this Chinese tripod. So this is the This is the Phoenix E dashboard, you can see it lining up there. So this is the UK Phoenix dashboard, hopefully you can see that pretty good. There we go, so as you can see here, the stations coming up on time slot 2. There's also stations coming up on time slot 1. So if I had a duplex hotspot sitting on this uh, network, I'd be able to hear time slot 2 and time slot 1 at the same time. I'd be able to transmit on, um, so if there was a QSO going on, there is now, and CQ UK is listening to it. So we'll just turn that up. Yeah, so those guys are talking on CQ UK. So for example, if I had the radio sitting on this time slot at the moment on this um, talk group on 2351 and then I decided to um, put out a call to a friend on time slot 2, I'd be able to do that on a duplex while this conversation is happening on, on 1. So that's where the duplex hotspot comes into its own on DMR Plus or if we go across to the VK DMR network, the same. We've got time slot one time slot two so this is the time slot two side here and uh, if there was a conversation going on on talk group 505 and I wanted to talk to a friend on say I made a, uh, a skid with him on a time slot one talk group maybe one of these maybe five or eight or three eight one zero or three eight zero nine <coughs> I'd be able to um, have that conversation while the hotspots hearing talk group 5 as well. So in the Pi Star dashboard it just shows up 
differently. I'll just um, just give me a sec, guys. I'm just going to have a look at this hotspot and see what I'm. One, two, eight. I'll just get this hotspot up. One nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one two eight. Everything happens live in this shack. One three eight. Bad eyesight. That's why we're not seeing it. Okay, so let's expand that up a bit. So this is a duplex hotspot that's running at the moment. So you can see it's already heard me. It's already heard my radio on Talk Group Five and Five Zero Five on RF. You can see over here. It's um, listening to time slot 1, time slot 2, both enabled, and it's on the DMR Master of the uh, DMR Plus IPSC2 Australia. So you can see the split here, 434.175 for transmit, 439.175 for receive, so we've got a uh, 5 MHz split. You can see here the stations that have come in on the different uh, talk groups. This is the hotspot booting up. This one is 505 and talk group 5 here so that's, let's just key this radio up so this radio here so we're on 505 there it is it's receiving and then if I go down to talk group 5 it'll come in on talk group 5 there and you see that I've come up on the dashboard here <coughs> two different times on the different uh, time slots so we'll just uh, go up sorry you can't see that, there we go, we'll just go up to 5 So when you um, when you key up on the radio, the radio will poll. I'm just going to show you the LEDs. The radio will poll the um, the hotspot. This will flash red, I think, That's if I remember rightly. And then it flashes green. Then the tail of the um, hotspot comes back. So I'll just do that again. Let's see it polled the uh, hotspot and then it received the hotspot. So it's different to a simplex because a simplex just as soon as you transmit just comes up red and uh, goes straight to the um, sorry it goes straight to the um, to the hotspot and then uh, when you release the button there's no tail. So a bit of a different um, way that they work but again they work really well for DMR. You can use a duplex on on any mode. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they don't work. What I'm saying is they're not necessarily the best. I like simplex or uh, I like these simplex hotspots for um, for the speed of them because if the network's busy and people aren't leaving a break you're going to find that um, the simplex will be able to let you drop in and change talk groups or drop into the conversation pretty easy if it's a net. Um, you've got to wait for the, um, the duplex to poll the, um, uh, the radio to poll the duplex hotspot and the hotspot to respond, so it's a little bit slower. It's just the same as working a repeater. So the, uh, the, the simplexes are a bit faster. This is the hotspot that we were just talking to, this one in the clear case here. This is a hotspot I built recently, so it's a Pi Zero form factor with a 1.3 OLED and um, a, uh, a dual slot, um, a, uh, a duplex uh, modem board. So that's it, so that's it there, so I haven't got a modem board separately to show you for that, but so that's pretty much it. Um, so just to recap, 
the simplex is just one antenna. So if you're looking online for um, for a hotspot and you've decided to buy yourself a just a basic hotspot, then one of these it'll just have the one antenna. Um, but if you uh, if you decide on a duplex, it's going to have two antennas and two radio chips. And some boards have TX and RX on them, stamped on them, this doesn't. So hopefully that's helped you, because it is very confusing, but if you think of a duplex hotspot as a repeater, then that makes a lot more sense, because they work the same as a repeater, but they're just a, um, a digital type repeater. So they work a little bit different um, in, the, um, in, in their operation, because you can go into DMR time slot 1 and time slot 2, but again, if you're on Brandmeister, Brandmeister's all time slot 2, and if you're on VK DMR, this the network because some talk groups are one time slot one and some are time slot two the network resolves the uh, the time slot one side of things uh, and and so basically what I'm trying to mumbly say here is that um, everything on your code plug and your radio will be time slot two but any time slot one talk group will get um, will get resolved through the network but uh, if you want the true DMR full capability then I suggest you buy or build yourself a duplex hotspot because they do work extremely well on um, on uh, say the VK DMR network a perfect example of um, the duplex coming into its own say you're on uh, VK DMR network on a Tuesday night and the net's running, so it's running on talk group 5 and your hotspot uh, you're running it, say a simplex hotspot on talk group 5, but you've got 505 set as a static then uh, what may happen is uh, you might check into the net, but there might be a QSO on talk group 5 and the hotspot, this hotspot will um, will hear take priority and hear talk, talk group 505 and lock you out of talk group 5 so whereas that can't happen on a duplex because you can have several statics set on time slot 1 and 2 and it'll just uh, stay on the time slot you're talking on because it's listening to both time slots at the same time so hopefully that's not too confusing but really when you talk duplex think of it as a repeater in your own mind um, get rid of that word duplex because it is very confusing. A lot of people get duplex and offset mixed up. I know I certainly did when I first kicked off with these. I thought the open spot was duplex because they had an offset available in there, but that's not the case. So just remember all the open spots are simplex and they work great. They're a fantastic hotspot, but if you want the uh, full durability of, um, of both time slots on uh, DMR and especially on the DMR Plus networks, then the uh, this fella here is the one to um, is the one to get. So hopefully that's um, helped you out with um, some kind of clarity on the difference between duplex and simplex, and explaining it technically as well gives you an idea of um, what the hardware looks like and what to look out for. Okay, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope everybody's having a great new year in 2021 and 73s from the VK4NGA Shack.